Welcome back to The Guy Dawson Show at the World Center of Broadcast Media, WCOBM.com. For all of you out there who are watching us live, welcome to the show. And Corintha, there's a bunch of other places that they can watch us as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, you can always catch us on YouTube. We have our own channel as well as the WCOBM channel as well on YouTube. You can watch us there. Uh, you can actually binge watch, watch us on YouTube. There's like two years of shows. You can literally <laughs> just keep watching if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's also uh, Facebook as well. We always post our videos there, and we have our own uh, our own page there as well. And of course, we're we're everywhere. Instagram. I even put him on Snapchat. He didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, this Twitter. social media world allows. Yeah. Uh, it's it, it's it's amazing. This whole network is based on on social media and uh, the transmission of information through uh, th these platforms. So please go look for us everywhere. Like she said. Classic Communications is on uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, the Guy Dawson shows all over the place. Some places that I don't even know. Who, who knows who <laughs> else might be out there, huh? Putting things all. I know. What a world we live in now. Who knows? Who knows? But I'm excited to be back and I'm excited to be interviewing all of you again about, um, you know, our Platinum Elite sem seminars and masterminds. And, you know, I just really wanted to make a point that um, we were just talking about a few minutes ago, but I wouldn't even be on this show if it wasn't for the power of a mastermind group. Mm -hmm. um, I got involved with the mastermind group several years ago. They've actually been on the show because <laughs> they're amazing people. Uh, but they uh, they really helped me to understand. Um, I had a completely different set of goals when I walked into that mastermind group, and then I walked out completely living my dreams. And that's really what it's all about, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's really about setting intention, which is what we did a lot of. And and being intentional means that you make it very clear what it is that you're that you want out of life. I think that that's one of the challenges that a lot of people have, and I've ex had the same experiences at other times. It's been a long time though uh, that I haven't been clear, but I think that people aren't clear. Mm -hmm. And being a part of a mastermind group brings you to that point of clarity. And sometimes it takes people outside of yourself mm -hmm. to help you along in the process. Anyone have feedback on that? Oh, absolutely. I've been doing personal development for about two years now, and. And it's been little pieces coming to me over the course of time, but it is. It's usually somebody else who's able to dig in and bring it out of me. Like Don did a phenomenal coaching session that I didn't even ask for the other night. Last night? Was it last night? I don't know. Or a couple nights ago. And it was just like, that's it. You that that's exactly what it is that I've been thinking and feeling and I just haven't been able to adequately express it mm -hmm. but it's it's usually another uh, for my experience it's always been somebody else that's able to like dig into your heart and pull that out and for me it always comes with a lot of tears mm -hmm. but yeah it's uh it's definitely me worth too. it <laughs> me too I'm with you sister going back, going back to uh, the intention when uh, when I was designing the layout for this event uh, every day needed to have an intentional purpose mm -hmm. every segment in that day had to have an intentional purpose and everyone that attended that event had to be part mm -hmm. of their intention um, I guy was saying it that a lot of people are not thinking intentionally and what it, what I, my belief system is is that with us being so powerful as extended will of creation itself that if we're not being intentional then someone else is um, using us as their puppet to be able to get their intention to happen through us and so it's about time that we get very clear on our intention because we're so powerful that when we set our intention into motion the universe has no choice but yeah. to show up and deliver us the tools to make it happen and when people are not aware that they have that type of power they end up getting plummeled like the like the experience the in the waves <laughs> <laughs> they, they're like, if you go out into the waves, which I saw you do. In fact, we almost lost Kim. No! <laughs> she Big waves <laughs> on the south shore of, of uh, Oahu. But yeah. you've got to be very clear that if you're not intentionally thinking, that somebody yes. else's intention will put you into their current and take you out. Absolutely. Speaking from a Hawaiian uh, language there, a uh, little bit of a beach scene that we had. So you can imagine uh, what you can get out of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely, are you in someone else's current in life? Or are you designing? the current uh, and that's really what we were doing uh, while we were at Destination Waikiki. Mm -hmm. And it really has to start somewhere because I think uh, a lot of times that people feel I'm stuck, I've got debt, all these different things that challenges with life and yet 
you can start somewhere. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. If your intention is clear, the pieces of the puzzle that are going to lead you to the next step, they'll all be laid in front of you. And I know a lot of times people may ignore the gifts that are being placed in front of yeah. them and then they think well nothing good ever happens for me but it's just like the the story about the the floods in New Orleans have you heard about that during Katrina where uh, God sent boats for people to jump on the boats and people would say oh God's gonna take care of me and they would ignore the boat, boat. Yeah. <laughs> and then they would drown and then they say God how could you let me drown and God said I sent boats there all you had to do was jump, jump on the it. boat <laughs> <laughs> and you would have lived and so that's what broadcasts like this where we're sharing an opportunity for uh, you out there to maybe make a, a major shift in your life and just mm -hmm. take this. This isn't happening by accident. The fact that you're watching this could be a year from now, five years from now, maybe you're watching live. Uh, there's an intention that is being created here mm -hmm. for you and you just have to uh, to embrace it and um, I don't know, pay attention, huh? Yeah, I'm getting an image right now of like following the yellow brick road from the Wizard of Oz and it's <laughs> true, you know, I'm thinking back to my own life even just at this event where I think a lot of us sit back and think 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 what should be the next step and you never move sometimes mm -hmm. you have to take that step we don't know if it's going to go left or right we don't know which direction we're supposed to go but if you don't start actually actively moving and going in a direction it, it doesn't create the energy for other stuff to show up for you to show you okay well let me see let me go this way nope nope definitely looks like i need to go to the left path now unless you actually start and that i think is a huge lesson for life and i think we did that we really mm -hmm. looked at places in our lives again going back to what you said about being interested we all have interests we all have desires we all have things we want to accomplish we want to have a better life but we're just interested in making changes, but are we really committed in moving forward and taking the action to step forth and do something different to get yourself off of your center point, to get you off of your nexus and move forward and create that life of your dreams? We all have dreams. We forget to dream. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but you know, we get stuck in the humdrum of life and we forget, you yeah. know, why can't we still dream and be like a little kid? Life is unlimited. Yeah, the, it really uh, is. And uh, I will add to the stories that people will tell themselves, even some of the audience, but not this audience, not but this some audience. of the audiences that are out there that tell themselves the stories about why they don't have what they want or they deserve in life. And the reality is, is that the only one that keeps any individual from what they want or deserve in life is that individual. Um, the yeah. opportunity is there. The, the self-inflicted pain that people put themselves through that holds them back from their lifestyle, their legacy, it's 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 not uh, acceptable and mm -hmm. my suggestion would be surround yourself with a different type of thinker you we are inviting you to be part of this vision this is a this is literally destination mastermind is a way that we're putting a dent into the world and the dent into the world's thought processes to uh, create a better life and show people their full powerful maximum potential yeah. for being able to have the lifestyle and the legacy that they want and and the legacy of their dreams and it's doable it's very doable and you just got to get past the story um, you know is uh, one of the things that I teach uh, when I'm out there is that as long as you have your creativity you are unlimited unlimitedly wealthy because a lot of people are like oh I'm stuck about the money I'm I don't understand how I can go I've never traveled before and the thing is is that all the answers you need are there and we will just need to help expose where you can find those and where you can find your support teams and and where to surround yourself with people that are big thinkers. I mean, it's go big or go home, and yeah. uh, we live a big lifestyle when we're in these programs, and our goal is to uh, let that be the ripple that we're sending out across the world. Yeah. Yeah, and it was abundance. That was really a big part of the theme throughout the week is that we wanted to experience abundance mm -hmm. and the in all aspects we did the restaurants mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the, and uh, one of the great opportunities though was the volunteerism. Oh, that mm -hmm. was fabulous. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone want to share about their experience? We were on the USS Missouri in Pearl Harbor and we got to to have a volunteer experience. 
Go ahead. Actually, what I found amazing was just by us showing up and, you know, cleaning the handrails, all of the guests and all the people that were going through the tour were asking, you know, asking me, what are you doing? I'm, oh, we're volunteering. We're giving back time. And they said, oh, well, how can we do it? So we actually were finding many, many people just by watching us get the idea and ask how they could participate as well. It was really inspiring. And, and my message for that is that when you are living your core purpose and you're that congruent and in this exercise we were showing how to put a philanthropic thrill a thrill and a philanthropic <laughs> model into our businesses, yeah. um, but it was really uh, 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 an exercise on clearing and cleansing and sanitizing your yes. thought process. Oh, yes. But when we were doing that from that clarity, the ripple that we had sent out across this ship was yes. amazing yes, because was. a lot of the people that were there for their experience, for their tourist experience, realized that there was something bigger and much more yes. Um, yes. justifiable going on on that ship, and they literally uh, were attracted in regards to joining what our vision was, which is something that's simple that you can do for your vision as well. And Tony, how about for you? That was a phenomenal experience. As a prior service person, um, I I had, when I was in the Army, I had this idea that I was just a cog in a wheel and I was replaceable. Mm. But being on that ship put it in a completely different perspective because of what happened on that ship. And so even though we were just cleaning the handrails, it was, we were doing a, a piece that had a bigger impact. Mm -hmm. And, and those, those service, those sailors that served on that ship oh, yeah. had a huge impact. That's where the Japanese came and signed their, the treaty where they, where they said, yeah. okay, we're done. We're not fighting World War II anymore. So it was just for me, it brought up a whole bunch of emotions, surprise, yeah. um, around, around that history and realizing that even the smallest action that you can take can have an impact. Yeah that's so much bigger than you than you see right at that point in time. And we mm -hmm. had uh, come out of an ex exercise prior to that experience in regards to what is a legacy and is it worth fighting for? Yeah. And we were able to firsthand be on the USS Missouri uh, that was part of the initial um, bombings that had happened in World War II and we were able to be there to be on the ship that was where it ended and yes. where the signing Yes. and the agreements came into place that ended World War II. And that, um, and I can't remember um, who it was, but there was a quote on there is that, you know, is what you're fighting for worth dying for? Mm -hmm. And that is a legacy. And that's what we yeah. were building all week long is a legacy worth dying for, fighting for, one that pulls us out of bed in the morning mm -hmm. and has us work until 11 or 12 at night to um, make a change in the world. And that is uh, extremely worth doing because then you don't feel like, oh, I just want to get my paycheck and be gone at five o'clock and then mm -hmm. let uh, whatever's on TV drag you around with your vision and your, and your thought processes. No, it was us designing our thought processes, taking complete control and creating a legacy worth dying for. Yeah, and that's the real gut check. That's something that you have to really, whatever the cause is, uh, you have that check in your gut. Is this worth dying for? I mean, is what I'm working towards really, will I give up my life? for this this cause and when you are very clear about that that you'll do anything to achieve the goal that you're working towards whatever that is and there's just an unlimited amount of, of ways that you can serve uh, you know, humanity uh, financially and in other ways uh, but when you have that that gut check and you know that what you're doing is absolutely where you need to be just get on the path and that's the trust right you have to trust that you're on the right path yeah and yeah. The, the other beautiful thing too is this was you know a master class event where we experienced a lot of what the tourism did and the difference is is there's a lot of tourism that was going on out there but they were worried about do I have to be on my phone where can I afford my next meal I can't afford that next excursion and all those stories so what kind of a vacation is that when we designed this it was about are we living in the abundant lives mm -hmm. that we deserve mm -hmm. that we were born and as our inheritance naturally to have and uh, and how do we do this to where we can spread it around the world and show everybody that it is doable for them as well and um, and that is one of the gifts that we've been keeping from ourselves for a very long yeah. time but I think that there were some other decisions there to live a different way yeah. you know something that I took away too and just remembered now is one of our presenters or speakers um, Derek mm -hmm. mentioned that one sentence do you guys remember that that he said with anything can, can I, I just, just and then fill in the blank 
like it doesn't have to be this huge thing and I think we're so busy thinking about you know in order to do something it has to be this huge thing just take a baby step take a step and get going in that direction it really motivates you I I took that away from this event as well it's really huge can I just and fill in the blank make one little action step you know one movement forward anything you know to get you going in that direction if you break it up pretty soon you're there Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mo- once you get in motion, it's harder to stop. Mm-hmm. You just keep on propelling yourself forward. And it's the hardest thing to do is to, to, to start. To start. But once you start, even with that little baby step, then the baby step becomes 10 baby steps. And then it becomes a huge leap. The momentum, and then you're yeah. you're just running. Yep. And it's definitely easier to start when you have um, clarity. Uh, well, yeah. not just the clarity, yeah. but the people around you to help you True. with the support, yes. right. keep you on your vision, to ask you about your vision, to understand the importance of your vision. And sometimes you. you don't get that yeah. even at your own home. True. I mean, there's um, last night I had someone come up to me and, and have a, an in depth conversation about how they're living a life uh, and they see that they want something bigger and better, but they don't have their spouse on the same page. And how do they uh, separate that so that way they can live the life? life without being brought down and there's a pretty in-depth conversation in regards Mm -hmm. to that but it is doable and when this person launches Mm -hmm. and they go you know you know like a rocket ship down where they want to go in their wake their friends and family will then come naturally but they have to take the step it's part of their journey Mm -hmm. we had a spiritual segment uh, that was led by Kim and what share with the audience what that was all about what were you trying to teach us I was actually trying to teach that day to one get back into the space of presence just take a moment Uh, I called it the meditation moment and that was just to get present for just a moment I know we're busy hustle and bustle but to start your day with some kind of a routine that's yours that's gets you centered gets you focused gets you grounded gets you just feeling back to to being present just in that moment even just taking a nice big deep breath or being you know grateful and saying things uh, the minute your feet hit the ground or before they hit the ground of you know five things you're grateful for that moment when you first wake up just to it kind of brings things back to perspective and I think that the intention for me there was just to have people really really look at what was going on in their life at that particular moment like what what were they ready to shift or let go of what did they need to let go of and to move forward to actually have this ideal life and this ideal dream and sometimes you have to get real and it's, it's painful sometimes it's not comfortable to know that sometimes you have to let things go and to move forward mm-hmm. and it can be painful it can be frightening but there's always uh, on the other side of it opportunity and no growth happens without discontent so you have to push through and muddle through um, I think it was very impressive for me that day because nobody let anybody off the hook there mm-hmm. were people even including myself that wanted to kind of skirt away from one particular topic and one of the gentlemen called me up short and that's again the beauty of the mastermind you're not getting away with this one you have to mm-hmm. face this thing that you don't want to face and mm-hmm. you know I'm gonna hold you accountable you better show up you know and he forced me to go through it and it was a beautiful experience and each one of us I think yeah. were profoundly touched that day and really really bonded and learned um, it's it's just going back to the being committed again it's I, I don't know, I can't explain it, but it was just a very moving moment. Each person really brought up something that just needed to shift that they may not have even been aware was present. Yeah, and it's really just about putting yourself in the environment. Again, you're you're watching this because this is this is for you. <laughs> I mean, I know I've done lots of shows as Corintha had talked about, um, almost three years worth of these shows, and each one of them is a gift to you in some way. And then uh, I guess it's all the way that you you take the gift. You hey, I mean, it's not wrapped up in a. Not box with a big bow <laughs> on top. There are things that you are going to have to do to receive your gift, mm-hmm. but it doesn't mean that the gift isn't there. Well, that's true. Yeah. Very mm-hmm. true. Yeah, that's so true. true. And I think I think the tough part. I think that this is what um, an issue that I know that I've had in the past is I hear a lot about how we stop ourselves from living our dreams, mm-hmm. and there have been signs that I've seen from the universe, and I'm like. 
you reminding me like no you need to keep on this path (laughs) (laughs) but sometimes it's easy to ignore those and just say you know what i'd rather be comfortable and that's not what this is about at all for all of you yeah comfortable being uncomfortable (laughs) yes yes Yes. but that's the only way to grow so yeah uh, so if you're out there watching and this is resonating with you on any level and you want to learn more you can definitely visit us at facebook.com forward slash platinum elite seminars you can call us at 702 Two eight six nine 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 nine. I think that was it, right? One, one more nine. Eight six nine 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 nine, and uh, we'll be able to get you signed up for the French Riviera, which is going to be amazing and themed uh, everything French Riviera style. So you ready to change your life? Yeah, we're looking Come forward to us. seeing all of you at Destination Mastermind on the French Riviera. Thank you for tuning into this week's edition of the. Wow, I was going to say one of my other shows. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you have such an abundance of shows to. <laughs> You forget which one you're hosting. <laughs> However, please uh, tune in next week to this uh, next week's edition of the Guy Dawson Show. Take care of yourselves. <laughs>